Red Lion is a play about football, and sometimes I say in interviews it isn't, and I don't know why I say that, I'm being disingenuous. It is about football, but it's about lots of other things as well. In the same way that Dealer's Choice, my first play, was about poker, but about many other things. I would say primarily the Red Lion is about the way people need to find mentors, need to find figures in their lives who they can believe in, who will show them the way. Oh, I'd just be well, I think it's a bit of a political play because I think it's arguing that something went very wrong with England round about 1979 um, and that England has never found itself since. It's been a, an unholy mess. Uh, I think that's particularly the case now with Brexit, which seems to me the dramatic conclusion of 1979. It's sort of the place where Thatcher was heading, as it were. We think you have heart and intelligence. We believe you might be a footballer, a real one. Talk about kids like you and we sure will enjoy. One of the main reasons people love non-league football is that it's local. The old tradition that you would support your local club has kind of slightly died out a bit in the last 20, 30 years as transport has got better, I suppose, and people want to support winning clubs. Whereas in non-league, you really you walk to your local ground and support your local team. Um, and I think that, that is part of its pleasure and charm. I couldn't write at all at this time, so it was, it was quite um, therapeutic, really, to spend two years looking after a football club. At least it was active and I was interacting with people and doing something I passionately believed in. I don't understand writer's block. I think, really, it's, it's a polite way of saying depression. Um, it was a, just a complete inability to write, a lack of desire to communicate, self-consciousness about my own voice in the world, feeling middle-aged, feeling irrelevant. I'm not saying I don't still feel those things. I'm still middle-aged and largely speaking irrelevant, but I kind of like doing it again. I don't think football explains the world. I think it is, it's a great metaphor for certain things. Um, and I think there has to be a reason why it's the global game, why it's the game the world takes most seriously and I think that's to do with it being a team game and a passing game. Anyone can participate at any level and take pleasure from it. I think that's its beauty, is it's cheap.